Hey everyone, what is going on? Shark Tinker back again with another chapter reaction to the next newest One Piece chapter. Wow, okay. I'm really hyped for this just because of the last chapter and what happened in that one. So I'm really hyped to see what we got here. And a little bit of a kind of little bit of a kind of like side thing before I begin. Uh, right before I started this reaction, I just got done seeing the rise of Skywalker and wow. Wow. Like at times, I kind of wish I had, like, a channel where I could just talk about movies in general, because that is definitely a film. Definitely a film, that's all I'll say. Because <laughs> right now, I know people are, like, so split on that film, like, after seeing it, it was just a major just sheesh. But with that out of the way, though, let's begin this. Chapter 966 of One Piece, Roger and Whitebeard. So, and again, so, um, the, the, the kind of, like, front page, kind of, like, of every chapter is showing, like, a kind of, like, side story what's going on with like Beige and you know, his family and Beige's wife I forget her name she's at a salon you see the the wanted poster of her husband so yeah she's kind of shocked by that but yeah okay here we go okay here we go here we go here he comes it's the samurai the one that I've heard about wait commander Odin am I supposed to steal the treasure these people are different from our usual foes the Roger pirates are bad news Odin sword style Odin, Odin's about to go in on Roger what Odin's about to go in on Roger, okay. Odin, two sword style, gun, Madoki. Yo, he's going in on, like, Roger's, I guess, allies and, like, crew members. Wow, yo, he's taking them all out like nothing. The stories are true. He's mighty. Should we nip this in the bud, Rayleigh? I think so. Oh, okay, so Rayleigh and another me member, I think, I'm assuming he's on, like, Roger's crew. They're about to go in on this, you know, on Odin also. Gobbin Rayleigh, or, yeah, Gobbin Rayleigh, stop. I wouldn't want you guys to get hurt. You just want to fight. I smell a wild beast. Okay, so pretty much. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. What the heck? Okay, wait. So Roger's kind of acting like Luffy. Where, like, the way, like, he's like, wait, 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 wait. Kind of, like, makes a joke about it. He's, like, running past him to, like, fight him himself. Well, like, okay. Like, he's acting a lot like, or, you know, like Luffy. Okay, yeah, anyway. I wouldn't want you guys to get hurt. You just want to fight. I smell a wild beast. Hey there, samurai. Divine departure. Dang! Look at that! Dang! Dang! Okay, this is the first time ever, ever in the history of One Piece in terms of the manga and the anime where we actually see, you know, Roger actually fight someone one on one, or actually just do a fight in general. Dang! And he looks skilled too. Like he's going in on the Odin. He's like divine departure. That's his move with the sword. We're only on the second page. I oh dang! Or um um uh, third page, but still. Still, uh, dude, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Like, I'm actually now getting hyped. Huh? Yo, so Odin's like, wait, what just happened? Do ah, yo, he bla- Dude, Roger blasts Odin back like crazy. Kaboom, and you see him, like, blast into a giant tree. I say, what was that? I need to have a word with you. Yo, Odin's like, wait, what the heck was that? Wait a minute, no, yeah, like, Odin's like, okay, I've never seen- a person fight like this before. What is going on? So Odin's like, yo, what the heck, dude? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop the fight. I need to see what's going on right now. But before he can even do that, you just now see Whitebeard and Roger go at it with the clash. Dang. 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 You see the whole panel of just Whitebeard clashing with Roger. And you can kind of see that it's kind of like hockey and viewing on the spear and the sword. And Odin's looking at this, and he's like, they're not even touching. Ooh, that isn't... Okay. Literally, the blast wave that's coming off of their swords is impacting each other. Not even the swords themselves. And Odin's looking at this, and he's like, their swords are not even touching each other. They're not even touching each other. And Odin... And this is the power of the Pirate King, of the King of the Pirates. Gold D. Roger. Odin, like, Whitebeard is smiling viciously, and Roger the same. Because they know that they're the only ones that can take each other on. That's insane. Dang, okay. Uh, dang it. It's like, I want to just stop and just keep looking at this. Like, first of all, this panel is amazing. Like, like honestly, this is a panel where I could just hang up on my wall of just seeing Whitebeard and Roger clash. Dang. This looks insane. Oh, my gosh. And, and again, Odin, he's free. Okay, imagine it like this. Odin has never truly seen a threat before in his life. Everyone that he's always fought... He's always fought with ease, as far as we can tell. So to see him 
Like, to, to see how Roger just knocked him back like nothing. And that the only person that could really take them on, or take Roger on, is Whitebeard. And they're just clashing. And literally, the force from the blades themselves, not even the blades touching, is causing them to clash. He's looking at this, and he's like, what the heck is going on? Who the... What kind of monsters are these people? <laughs> Dude, okay, next... Okay, 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 next page. Next page. The whole island is taken back in shockwaves from their clash. Dang, what the heck? The whole island itself and the way and like the oceans around it, it's like taken back in like a giant like waves of impact, like blasting off of it. And yo, oh, oh the ship, the ship. Dang, Wiper's ship is like being blasted off too. Like people are falling off it. Dang. Like literally the palm trees themselves are like being like pushed back like crazy. Dang. Okay. okay. You seem well to me, Roger. How many years has this been? How, oh yeah. How many years has it been, Nougat? Oh, wait a minute. So right now I'm seeing Roger's uh, beard. It's sound kind of curly because before it wasn't curly. Uh, but yeah, like, so pretty much like, this is kind of like friendly sparring from what I can tell. Uh, but anyway, how many years has it been, Nougat? Drop your valuables and leave. <laughs> Yo, they're both just laughing. <laughs> Roger and Whitebeard are both like laughing at each other. Oh, uh, dude, so both sides of their crews are like, yo, go get them, let's get them. Take everything they got. Yo, they're both going at it with each other. What the heck? It was a clash of two great pirates of the time. The Roger Pirates versus the Whitebeard Pirates. Their pitch battle lasted for three days and nights. What the heck? This is the power of the King of the Pirates and the Yonko. Arguably the strongest Yonko. And again, arguably because we don't know for fact, but still... This is the clash of two great powers in the One Piece world. Like, dang, and he, dang. They're saying their battle lasted for three days and nights. Crap. Okay, let's see the next page. Let's see the next page. Four days later. Hey, I like it. <laughs> okay, so after four days, now they're all buddy-buddy just like laughing, celebrating with each other. See, it's like they fight just for the fun of fighting. Not for, like, really to kill each other and, like, to steal their stuff, like, which is kind of what I expected, but still, like, okay, so four days later, hey, I like this shirt, where'd you get it? Wait, you're taking too much, it's gotta be an even exchange, the southern booze is good stuff, how about three boxes of jerky? The attempt to pillage each other has become a gift exchange, <laughs> dang it, it's like, they're enemies, but at the same time, they're all kind of buddy-buddy with each other, they're all, like, I don't know, like, kind of like friends. Oh, but you see Teach again. Teach is back now. You know, Kid Teach and Marco. Are they apprentices? Yeah, they've been around for ages. They don't look very tough. Yet they got the attitude of grown men. See, yeah, and they're talking about uh, Shanks and Buggy. Dude, I don't get Buggy. I really don't understand Buggy. It's so weird with Buggy. I feel like, I feel like there's an actual reason behind this and that they're going to explain it. Why... Is Buggy able to do all of these crazy things? Be, be in these crazy th fights that you would never expect Buggy of all people back in the beginning of the series to be in. But yet, like, it, it, like I don't know, like, now he's so scared of everything. Even, like, the littlest things like Luffy and, like, being, you know, like, even fighting him. But yet, like, literally, Buggy and Shanks, they were in a battle for three days and nights against Whitebeard and his crew. Was Buggy just stronger back then? I, I mean, he was a child. Did he just get weak or lazy as time went on? I don't know, dude. It's so weird with Buggy. And it's like with Shanks, you know, obviously he's a Yonko now, you know, you know, in the present time. So I don't know why Buggy is so weak now and so scared of fighting now. Yet back in the day, he was literally able to take on, well, well not take on, but literally not be afraid to fight on Whitebeard and his crew. It's so weird. Anyway, you see that guy wearing the hat, Shanks? Oh, teach. Yeah. I heard he didn't sleep a wink during the ceasefire last night for the night or the night before. Oh, huh? why not? They say he's never slept in his life. Wait, what? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So when they said, do you see the guy wearing the hat, Shanks? I thought they were talking about Shanks himself. No, they're talking about Teach. What? Dude, I'm, this flashback is insane. It is actually insane. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I heard he didn't sleep a wink during the ceasefire last night or the night before. Huh? Why not? They say that he's never slept in his life, and that's in bold. He's never slept... Teach, aka Blackbeard, never slept in his life. 
Okay, that's really weird. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Is that even possible? Lucky guy. I bet his life has been twice as fun. That's not the point. Don't you get it? He's a monster. Okay, so uh, next panel. So you, wait, so you can read this. Yes, I can. I can read it. But how do you possess this text? This is the secret cipher of the Kozuki clan of Wano. Passed down strictly from generation to generation. Oh my gosh. Okay, new lore, new lore, new lore, new lore. Okay, 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 dude. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, okay. So I'm assuming yeah, he's talking about the poneglyphs. I'm, okay, so you can't see. Uh, I'm looking at the top panel on the left side. Pretty much, I can't tell who's talking. I'm assuming that it's White Bear saying, so you can read this, and then the person saying, yes, I can, is, you know, Roger. Anyway, I can read it, but how do you possess this text? This is the secret cipher of the Kozuki clan of Wano, passed down strictly from generation to generation. Okay, let's go. It all started 13 years ago when we landed at the destination of the final log pose. Okay. Okay. The final destination of the log post, so not Raftal. It's confirmed that, you know, a while back, you know, that it was confirmed that, you know, you can't get to Raftal by following the log post. You get there another way through the road poneglyphs. So it's like, okay, what's the easy final destination on the, you know, the log post, okay? It all started 13 years ago when we landed at the destination of the final log post, where, where no one had ever reached before. A place called the Lodestar Island. Lodestar Island, okay. But when we disembarked, giddy at what we might find, we realized that it was not the final island. And I think that he's gonna, you know, like bring up Raftal. The needless, or yeah, the needles of the log pose went haywire, refusing to point out a new destination. But <coughs> there is one more island, and only by going there will the unprecedented circumnavigation of the globe be complete. Okay, and I'm assuming that he's talking about Raptor. And you see Whitebeard, you see Odin, and you see, you know, Roger all talking, you know, having sake, you know, like having drinks, you know. It's four red stones carved with these letters that point the way to the island. The only problem is, these are the poneglyphs that the world government has long forbidden anyone to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's talking about the road poneglyphs, and he, you know, obviously he's talking about Raptor. Uh, you thought they were just cultural relics? Think again. They're the map that we need. The stories say that a vast treasure awaits on the final island, and the government says, don't go there. That only makes the stories about the treasure more believable. If we can get there, we'll be the greatest pirate crew in the world, in both name and act. In the world? That's right, and then I'll be in there, yo. <laughs> okay, so this part of the panel was shown to me on uh, Twitter, but it obviously didn't spoil anything, you know? It shows Whitebeard and Onan being like, huh? Okay, so in the next panel, you know, right now we see Roger just like laughing, like, yeah, ha 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 ha, ha ha ha. Are you serious, Roger? What are you, a little boy? I froze still, and that's Odin speaking. For the second time today, I was stunned. Who was this man? Help me out, Nougat. Let me borrow Odin for one year. It's the last thing I'll ever ask. With him, I'm certain that I can reach the final island. Wait, why Odin? <coughs> okay, so this is why Roger you know, wanted to meet Odin. Okay, uh, anyway. What do you mean? Don't I get a say in this? Uh-oh, Captain Roger bowing his head to Whitebeard. This can't be good. And uh, apparently, this is not the first time Odin and your know, I army mean, Roger asked something of Nougat, I mean. Anyway, uh-oh, Captain Roger's bowing his head to Whitebeard. That can't be good news. Don't do this, Captain. Or, yeah, don't do this, Captain Roger. He's our enemy. Please, Odin. Come along on my travels, just for one year. Stop. Don't embarrass yourself like this. Lift your head. <laughs> Yo, Odin's like, dude, stop bowing your head, dude. Like, literally, you are insane in terms of strength. You knocked me back like I was nothing. I've never seen that kind of strength before. Stop doing that. It's weird. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yo, Whitebeard's like, absolutely not, Roger. Are you trying to steal my family from me? Uh-oh, Pops is angry. But my blood cried out to me. It asked, why can't the Kozuki clan read the letters? Or, wait, what? Why can't- Oh wait, why can the Kozuki clan read these letters? Wait, so the Kozuki clan- I guess that makes sense, because they're the ones that made the Poneglyphs and the Royal Poneglyphs. But, I mean, like, would the current members of the present time, or, you know, in terms of, like, the flashback, be able to read them? Because as far as I can tell, they don't. It was only their ancestors that made the Poneglyphs and, you know, knew how to read them. Anyway, it asked, why can the Kozuki clan read these letters? Why have I come across Roger at this moment in time? White Kiki, or White, White Kichi. Before I knew it, the words were leaving my mouth on their own. I want to go with him. Will you let me? Yo. 
<laughs> Whitebeard's like, I don't know. Uh, you don't seem to like that. Of course I don't like it. You and I are practically brothers. It's only one year, White Kishi, please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So pretty much uh, Odin calls Whitebeard White Kishi. I'm not sure what Kishi means. I'm assuming that means like brother in Japanese. I want to assume. I could be totally wrong about that, but anyway, yeah. But like for some reason, Odin wants to go with him though. Anyway, we choose to remain here. We like this ship. We will wait for you to return to it. Uh, you will have you have that right. You're fully fledged pirates now. Okay, yeah. So pretty much all the people that were from you know Wano, uh, all the Mings and all the people from Wano, they're all like, no, no, no. Like actually, we we want to stay here for now. Uh, you know, like once you come back, we'll be right here for you, man. You know, for now, just go do your thing. And it's like, okay, cool. Anyway, we should all be free to choose. And only smiling about that. He's like, yo, but <laughs> Whitebeard is ticked off. He's like, aren't you going to see him off, Bops? Roger left behind all the cargo he had on board as thanks. This stuff's worth a fortune. Oh, look at all that food. <laughs> yo, Whitebeard, Whitebeard is ticked off. He's like, man, Roger, how dare you take a member of my family from me, man? He may not have been my son, but he was my brother. <laughs> He was my brother, man. Not by blood, by through, but by like through like just like a a sentimental feeling of it, you know. Anyway, so he's like, give them back the fool, or no, give them back the food, you fools! Don't you dare let Odin's family go hungry. Yes, pops, right away. Have the time of your life out there. We'll be looking forward to your stories when you get back. Oh, but he never came back though. Oh man, he never came back though. I want to assume that from this point. They make it to Raftal, they're all done, and then he goes directly back to Wano, and that's where he dies, so, oh man, that's, that's gotta hurt, and that's why, um, uh, I'm forgetting the dude's name, Kishi is on Whitebeard's crew, because pretty much, like, like he, he, he's like, yeah, I like it, you know, on Whitebeard's crew, and I'll just be waiting for you here, only to find out later on that he dies, so I guess he found no reason to go back to Wano, then, I want to assume, but, anyway. It was the second act of my life as a pirate. A new adventure had begun. White Kishi was a great man, but Roger too was off the charts. I'm a lucky fellow. Haven't spent time with a baby in ages. Oh, okay, so now Roger, you know, like right now he's older right now. He fully has the curled up hair, he has the hat, he has you know, like the full, you know, coat. Anyway, I haven't spent time with a baby in ages. Oh, he, is he talking about... He can't be talking about Ace, because Ace is not born yet. Anyway, I haven't spent time with a baby in ages. Momonosuke and Hiyori, eh? Remind me of the old days. We got stowaways, Captain Roger. Oh, what the heck? Again, I don't know why. I'm forgetting their names, but they're, you know, like, um, for right now, the Minx, they stole the way on Roger's ship, too. Wait, so they also went to Raftal? Did they also go to Raftal with Roger and Odin? Okay, Dogstorm and Cat Viper, what are you doing here? We just have the most fun watching you on your travels. <laughs> Man, what? Hey, Dog and the Cat are gone, too. Those furry little... Anyway, the captain only needs you for your knowledge. Got that, Odin? Don't just assume that we're going to accept you as one of us. A port town. Are there ingredients there? Pirates are attacking. Wait, Odin. Don't attack civilians. The captain's going to kill you. He stole, in, or he stole my daikon radishes. He stole my eggs. What? It's a lawless area. Oh, just get on with it then. Oh, then. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, okay, okay. So pretty much, like, he, he was going in thinking that everyone was kind of like an enemy, only to find out that, no, they're you know, innocent people, only to find out later on that, no, no, they're, it's actually a lawless town, they're all bad people. So he's like, okay, never mind, Odin, just go ahead, act crazy. But yeah, like, so right now, Buggy and Shanks are all like, Odin, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Odin, that's me. I'm Odin, and I was born to boil. <laughs> Yo, they're all just partying. Yo, they're all partying like the Straw Hats, you know, like all, all the Straw Hats, man. Dude, dude, and that is the doctor of the crew. I, I'm forgetting his name. I and you know, obviously, he's from the beginning of the Grand Line where you meet him there. Anyway, I say he's got oh, a year to live at best. Ha 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 ha. What your owner's like, wait, why are you joking around about that? Like, I mean, why are you joking around about that, dude? I mean, come on. So, you see, I got to make my time left count. All right, we're gonna die. Oh, it's an I oh, they're going to Skype you. They're going to Skypea! Dude! They're going to Skypea! It's Skypea! Oh my gosh! Okay. Ah, we're gonna die! It's an island in the sky! The world is vast. Even bigger than before. Not even the gods would believe that people live in the sky. You know, Odin and everyone on the crew are like, Whoa! Even Bucky and Shanks and, you know, Roger, he, they're all like, Whoa! What's going on? We found it. All the way up here. 
Look at all the gold. How are we going to take it back with us, Captain? You can come back and get it when you're Captain Buggy. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for this now. Aw, not even a little piece? It was easy to find this stone. It's just packed full of strong voices. Again with the voices thing. Okay, so like really said that Roger can never read the Ponoglyphs. He can never understand the actual text. He said that Roger could hear the voice of all things. And again, they're bringing this back. Like, so much like different lore. Like, they're bringing this back up again. It was easy to find this stone. It's just packed with full, it's, it's just packed full of strong voices. And again, they're, they're putting the bold text for voices. It's a story of a great power. And it's also in bold about the power, isn't it? The message speaks of a weapon named Poseidon. Carve a message for me. I hereby guide this document to its end. Just like that? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. So, the Kozuki clan somehow have the ability to... Wait, so he's the one! He's the one... <laughs> Again, like, uh, I'm realizing this like the middle as I'm talking. So, Odin is the one that carved in the words for Roger. Because, you, know, you know, when the Straw Hats make it to Skypea. You know, Robin, she finds the, the, the same Ponoglyph that Roger was at, and you find out that it's carved, and it's carved of what Roger said in the, in, you know, like Roger carved something in the stone. You find out that the person that specifically carved Roger's words was Odin himself. Okay. I hereby guide this document to its end. Just like that? Well done, Odin. Show it to me, Roger. Show me the final chapter of your grand life-spanning adventure. Next chapter hits January 6th. We're not on break again, as far as I can tell. Dude, <clears throat> pretty much, this is so much in terms of a freaking flashback, man. So much in terms of a flashback. We're getting more about, like, Odin and Roger's adventures now, what they've been doing, how they make it to Skypea. We find out how Roger carved his words into the Poneglyph in Skypea. We're finding out so much information. We're, go we're gonna get a flashback. We're gonna see in this flashback of how they make it to the final island, Raftal. It's like... Dude, and we find out more, or, well, we don't find out more info, but they bring back up, you know, Roger's weird ability about the voice of all things. We still don't know, under, like, we still don't fully understand how that works, but, like, oh, my gosh. One Piece is on fire right now, dude. I kid you not. Like, One Piece is actually on fire, man. It really is on fire. And you know what? I'm wrong. Uh, As far as I can tell here, uh, okay, so next chapter is in two weeks, because, you know, obviously Christmas, you know, and... That's why, you know, obviously, you're totally fair. Completely, you know, totally, totally fair. And, yeah, guys, like, I, I just, like, ugh. Like, we're not even done with the flashback. We cannot even be close to being done with the flashback yet. Like, like, I'm assuming the flashback is going to end the moment that we get to Odin finally being like, okay, my adventures with you guys are done. I'm now about to go back home. And that's it. Dude, I'm just, like, we're not even at that point yet. We're, like... Maybe by, like, the middle, or maybe, like, getting close to the middle of the flashback? Well, like, dude, dude, like, this is actually, this is either a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. I love this chapter. I love the new information that we get. I love how we see, like, the clash of powers between Roger and Whitebeard. Literally, Odin's, like, looking at their fight. He was like, dang, what am I looking at? Who the heck are these people? Like, amazing chapter. What do you all think of it, guys? If you want, leave something in the comment section down below. Like the video and subscribe to me if you want to see more content. Even though I'm going to make more content anyway, just because I love talking about manga and Kingdom Hearts. And I also have a Twitter. So I talk a lot on there. If you want to follow me on there, it's in the link down below. Anyway, guys, this is Shark Tank. Hope you have a great, awesome, and amazing day. I'll see you all later, okay? Peace.